is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday. Friday, the 6th of September, we're looking at the Dow for this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. The Dow's up 120 at 40,876. Now, what's really important is that nine period moving average is still over the 14, and there's some things that I want to discuss when we come back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. It's the uh, Chapman Wave Technical Friday, so we need to talk about some of this. Everything that I'm looking at here suggests that this high that I called peak C had an alternate count and that there's actually a D, but doesn't that that's part of what I want to talk about. But in the meantime, let's look at the S P. SP had a little bit of a bounce, but now it's weak, it's down twenty at fifty four eighty three. And you can see that nine period moving average is really close to uh, turning down. And there we've had an official peak C one, C two. That C2 slightly under the 56, 51, 62 high really acts like a, um, a phantom peak D. All right, let's go to the QQQ. See, much weaker. The Qs are down five and a quarter at 455.67. Three days ago, the nine period moving average went negative, and that's the way I'm looking at it. Look at the SMHs. The SMHs. Uh, at the 200 period moving average, this looks like it could make an arch formation. We'll talk about that as well when I return. Now we're looking at the IWM showing a little bit of strength. Uh, it's down 39 cents at 211.60, but um, it is the nine period moving average. This, the day is young. We're not even 35 minutes into the trading day, uh, but so far that nine period moving average slipped to pink. Um, and that just says it's a little bit of a warning. It's not It's not like everything's, oh, my God, it's going to crash. It just says be careful because now the tide might be changing a little bit in the IWM. We'll see what happens. The chart is telling us we're not telling the chart. Gold is down five points at 25.37. And most importantly, it's still within this declining rectangle formation. It hasn't broken out. It looks pretty good. It's just not doing uh, – it's just not making new recovery highs. Let's go to the dollar. The dollar at this point is down. Oh, it's now up a little bit, up six ticks at 101.13, trying to make a double bottom. Let's go to crude oil. Crude oil is trading uh, up 97 cents at 70.12. And most importantly, the bonds, because yes, we are starting to see a weaker economy based on the economic report earlier on. Bonds are down 6.30 seconds. I'll be back with the Tiger Technicians Hour.